all right hey guys welcome back to the channel my name is brown from k hux nation and for today's video we are going over the newest unit that came out in dragalia lost uh in case you're not aware this is a gala unit and gala units tend to be arguably some some of some of the best in the game um they are a lot better than average there, there's some of the ones that you could almost always reliably pull on and expect a good unit okay um yeah that's probably the best way to put it so going along with that definition okay today's unit that we just received today is called gala uh cleo all right she is a five star shadow uh support unit uh using what is it i don't i don't i can never determine whether or not this is called the staff or the wand i don't know which one's the wand and which one's the staff they don't actually <laughs> label it <laughs> they just show the picture and it's just like okay cool um i think it's the wand though she's a one we'll just say she's a wand user okay correct me in the comments below if she's actually a staff user, right if that's what the symbol is whatever that's th that symbol is right there i'm clicking or next to her name that's what she is anyways okay in terms of my thoughts about her uh, let's go ahead and talk about her descriptions her abilities and stuff so her her activated abilities the first one being ancient ray deals shadow damage to multiple targets and enemies near those targets and activates skill shift if the attack connects initially the skill will target three enemies phase two will target four enemies while phase three will target five enemies Targets will be chosen by their proximity to the closer, meaning how close they are to, to you. And if the number of enemies available to target is fewer than the skill's number of hits, the selection process, process will be repeated for the remaining hit. So, to re reiterate that, basically, let's say you're on phase 3 and you can target up to 5 enemies. Um, if there's not 5 enemies, like different enemies close to you, what will happen is that some of those enemies will start getting targeted multiple times uh, on top of each other okay so if, if you only have one person in front of you let's say it's like a boss like a raid boss or something that raid boss will be hit five times instead of five different enemies being okay so that's just kind of a way to explain that second activated ability is faith of the elders deals shadow damage to the target and nearby enemies reduces their defense by 10 percent for 20 seconds and activates skill shift if the attack connects phase two adds an additional 5% decrease to enemy strength, while phase three also restores HP to all allies and continuous healing over the next 15 seconds. Now, in terms of the activated abilities, I honestly, I think it's pretty cool because they actually correlate to each other um, in the way that both of them activate skill shift. Okay, so you can actually, each of them can trigger to start raising your, uh, your phases, okay, immediately. So one thing that I would personally do is that I would actually use Faith of the Elders first, okay, in order to A, get the 10% uh, defense debuff, okay, as well as activating the first skill shift. Um, then use Ancient Ray because you already have, because uh, you've already acted the first phase of skill shift, okay, so using Ancient Ray uh, on top of that next would actually be phase two. So you'll actually be able to already hit four enemies, which is already really good. And then after that, you can use Faith of Elders again a third time once you build up, build it back up. Um, and from that point onwards, uh, you or well for that third time, you will actually trigger the a the five percent strength debuff, which is also really good. Any debuffs you can inflict on an opponent are always really good. Uh, on top of also having the AOE heals on your team and also continual healing over 15 seconds typically when i try and pick healers i always try and pick the ones that have um heal plus an extra ability and ideally i always would prefer that uh additional ability to always be to continue healing over time okay those are typically the most robust healers in my opinion okay they actually do way more healing compared to just a uh one time burst aoe uh ba yeah burst aoe heal so it's honestly not that bad now the drawback to this of course is that you only get the heals on phase three of the skill shift um so you do have to be kind of managing and like 
micromanaging your skill shifts and making and keeping track of like what skill shift you're currently on in order to know when you're actually healing but it's still a really good ability okay um so yeah it, it's it's just the fact that you might have to like do a little bit of hokey pokey uh play guerrilla tactics go in and out a little bit in terms of uh trying to make sure that you only go a little bit aggressive when you know you're about to hit the uh phase three of skill shift so that way you get the heals um when you don't have phase three of skill shift you might have to pull back a little bit play a little bit defensively um so it's a little bit of hokey pokey you're going in and out so but it's not too bad to be honest okay it's it's pretty good the fact the the main thing that's other than the fact that the of the healing aspect of faith of elders uh the, the cool part about it too is that the fact that it's really large uh it's two things okay the attacks are ridiculous on this on this girl okay galileo has some insane ri attacks and i think they have the animation in the uh the the store that you can see it too uh, but notice that it says in the description that it deals shadow that to multiple targets and enemies near those targets. So basically, the attacks have an AOE effect, okay? So not only do they hit multiple people, but they also have an AOE splash at the same time. That's insane. <laughs> you can, it's, it's so easy to just mow down giant mobs of enemies uh, with Gala. Gala uh, Cleo compared to most units, okay? She's literally meant for like those big like, oh, what are those called? What are they called? I think the void battles are some of them where you just have like a massive mob of enemies just like swarming you. Um, I know there's some other other really difficult uh, quests that, ha that utilize big giant mobs. Um, the Imperial quests, I think, are kind of like that, too. They're just, just like a giant mob of enemies. Uh, Gala is fantastic. So, definitely a very useful unit. And on top of the fact that, of course, even if it's not fighting a giant mob, even if it's only against, like, one boss or something, it's still really good because you still get the debuffs. On top of, you're hitting the enemy multiple times instead of one time in an AoE spectrum. You're hitting them multiple times. They get debuffed. And when you have phase three, you can heal as well. So overall, really good so far. Very useful. The co ability is a skill damage plus 15%. Just buffs the entire team's skill damage by 15%. Activated skills, basically. Her passive abilities. Uh, first one being Magical Modification 2. Using Ancient Ray, her first activated ability. Uh, using Ancient Ray grants the user Altered Strike effect. When this effect is activated, uh, as active, I mean. The user's next force strike will create a buff zone that lasts for 10 seconds and increases the strength of adventures inside it by 25%. The effect cannot stack and will be consumed on you. This is absolutely insane. <laughs> absolutely ridiculous. Um, just to reiterate for any new players out there, a force strike is that one attack that whenever you hold down the button, it shows like the little arrow or, you know, the little charge up attack. That's the force strike, okay? So whenever you use the, the charge up attack, all right, you will create a little buff zone for you and your teammates. So it's also really good if you're doing co-op because uh, you can use her and you guarantee a buff zone for extra damage for both you and your teammates, which is absolutely insane. And top of it being a 25% combined with the extra 15% from your co your co ability for a total of a plus 40% damage boost <laughs> just from this one unit alone if you have the buff zone absolutely insane combined with the fact you have large multi-target aoe attacks that also debuff and heal it's she's abs she's really good she's kind of ridiculous in my opinion um second passive ability reduces sleep susceptibility to blindness and paralysis by 100 percent uh, the blindness for me is one of the big ones just because I think a lot more units have resistance to paralysis and not nearly have as much resistance to blindness in my, uh, if I recall that correctly. Go ahead and correct me uh, below if, if I'm wrong. Um, but she also has the skill prep plus 100%, which again, not nearly as many units have, but there are some that have some. And it's, it's also really nice to have to just be able to just shoot skills at the beginning but the most notable is going to be the the first ability the first passive ability as well as just how freakishly universally useful her first two or her uh her active abilities are so 
Overall, an absolutely fantastic unit. If you're able to pull her, I highly recommend. These are the type of units that I will typically end up just saving a whole bunch of my uh, currency on. I just like I won't pull for a few uh, events or banners when they come out. And I'll just kind of save up for the Gala units because the Gala units are just absolutely insane. But other than that, oh yeah, just uh, just kind of go through too. Let me go ahead and just show you the animation that they show in the uh, the shop. So it's just oh, am I? You see how large those are? The power are? to protect those I love. <laughs> absolutely insane. Just look at just look at that again. Look how massive it is. I have gained the power to protect those I love. And that's and that's from hitting five different enemies. Okay. Uh, if you're fighting the same enemy, it'll just hit them five times in a row, which is ridiculous. It's I nuts. I have gained the power to protect those I love. Absolutely nuts. But anyways, if you enjoyed the episode, please leave a like, subscribe, and hit that bell button. It's the best way to know when I upload more videos such as this one. Uh, go ahead and let me let your ah go ahead and let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. My name is Brian from Canix Nutshot, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace, guys.